Nolajud here in Foley, Alabama at the Beer Shack Tap Room. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolajud. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Oktoberfest Best Burger Search, we enjoy Alabama German food with a burger at Beer Shack Tap Room Restaurant and Bar in Foley, Alabama, which is located at 8191 Alabama 59, which is about three hours and 188 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Beer Shack Tap Room has become known for their German beer and axe throwing. Join us for a Gulf Coast food travel adventure as we celebrate Oktoberfest and explore Alabama food with a cheeseburger. So I have been to this location multiple times and I am meeting my pal the Major here along with another special guest. And I have actually came here before they were even officially open and got to try the axe throwing out for free, which was an interesting experience. So as we look around here, you see they do have an outdoor patio space you can set up, but we're gonna go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So the interior is essentially one great big rectangle with a bar on the left, and then on the right, we've got the ax throwing here. So what I learned from my limited experience throwing the ax is it's not how hard you throw the ax, it's literally the distance from the target that's going to determine how you hit it. So I did master getting a bullseye by finding the proper distance standing away from this target as that axe does rotate as you throw it and so if you get the right distance that you stand from the target you'll be able to get that bullseye almost every time once you master your technique in the distance but hey look at here who's this oh look it's the major what's he doing having a good time we're about to drink some beer do some pros and yet another interesting yet familiar character is sitting right next to the major. Oh, oh wait, wait, here we go. Prost. Prost. So we have a uh, major, and this is uh, the admiral, major's brother. The admiral. admiral He's the uh, older, more important brother that lives in Japan. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. So when are we supposed to visit you in Japan? When? Yeah. Whenever uh, they they let you in. We're probably not allowed. You know, we're, we're dirty Americans. Not, yeah, they're not, very not allowed bad. right now. We're very soon. bad. Yeah, soon. So I think you're on the blacklist, though. <laughs> I'm on the blacklist everywhere. <laughs> Major back from Germany. Prost. Prost. Ah, oh, yeah. Major, how'd you like your trip? Uh, it's good. I got to explore the Alps a good bit. I um, explored the Rhine River Valley area, area and drank a lot of wine. I'm almost converted to wine, I think, actually. That's shocking. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm surprised myself. So often after you get a few drinks inside you, you maybe throw the axe a little bit, do some other things, you start to look around the bar as you have a craving, as you get hangry. And so then it's a good time to check out the menu now and see what they have to eat here. So we have a Bavarian pretzel with German mustard, ranch, or with house-made beer cheese dip. Then we have French fries with ranch with cheddar cheese sauce with mushroom gravy. Then we have burgers served with fries, the cheeseburger, the axe burger, which is burger, pastrami, Swiss cheese, fried egg, lettuce, tomato, onion, and axe sauce, the mushroom burger, and the patty melt. Next, we have sandwiches, and all sandwiches are served with fries. We have the Reuben, a pork schnitzel, pork schnitzel cordon bleu, a Jaeger schnitzel with grilled pork tenderloin with mushroom gravy, sauerkraut, and fries. And then we have brats with two brats on a bed of sauerkraut served with fries, one brat served with sauerkraut on a bun, one brat served with onions on a bun, and one brat smothered with tomato curry sauce. Hello. So I decided to go with the Axe Burger. So this is a very nice looking burger here. And these are actually some pretty beautiful looking French fries as well. So there's a whole lot of stuff on this Axe Burger. It's got pastrami, Swiss cheese, fried egg, lettuce, tomato, onion, and Axe sauce. Let's see how this thing holds up. I don't know, there's a whole lot of stuff on here that could create a whole lot of structural integrity issues. Ooh, immediately with the first bite, a lot of egg yolk just came pouring out of it. So there could be a lot of slipping and sliding going on additionally. So the structural integrity might be definitely in danger between that egg and that huge chunk of lettuce down below there. 
I don't know how this is gonna hold together ultimately, although the ooey gooey cheese might glue everything together. So far, I'm remarkably impressed that it is holding together far better than I would have thought initially. So there's some uh, nice burger flavors. That pastrami gives it an extra level of smokiness and another level of beefy goodness on top of the actual burger beef. So there's a nice combination of flavors here. That egg also gives it another little extra bling bling to add to the overall combination of flavors. So this is a very pleasant thing to eat and I'm very impressed that it's held together as fantastically as it has. So. Uh, of course, we are now on bun alone, so the meat bun ratio did slip up a little bit, but overall, a pretty good burger, other than the meat bun ratio. Structural integrity was way better than I thought. Now, here we go with these french fries. Ooh, these look quite nice, and perfectly fried on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside. These fries certainly have a good flavor that the way they have been fried gives them a little extra kick up. There's a little bit of salt on here as well, so... Everything is very nicely done with these French fries. So these are kind of better than your average fry you get these days that are often kind of mushy. All right, here we go with the last fry. And ooh, there we go. Just like we've totally destroyed this burger and fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do it for tips. And I appreciate any help with that. So I've got one last swig of beer to take down to fully complete this meal. And now the bill has arrived and the total before tip was $20.90. And to all of you out there watching this video, do you have a favorite activity you like to do for Oktoberfest or a favorite food you like to eat for Oktoberfest? And what is your favorite event that you attend for Oktoberfest if you've got one that you enjoy? as there's just a wide, wide range of them all over the place and different folks like different celebrations. We still have a nice big one in New Orleans that will be going on the last three weekends in October and we'll have some good times there and all of you also have a fantastic Oktoberfest celebration wherever you are as well. Just comment below and let me know your favorite things to do during Oktoberfest and your favorite Oktoberfest locations to go to. So, thanks so much to everybody at the Beer Shack Tap Room, and you probably should come here to check out the axe throwing, along with their selection of great German beer and some of that good food they have as well. And it, on average, is just a pretty fun bar to hang out in. So, thanks so much also to all of you out there that tuned into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.